The oils that I'm going to share with you, I actually use them on myself. I use them on my children, use them on my husband. And so um, and anytime I do a natural hair workshop, I like to go over these oils with different people who are um, just wanting hair growth. So the first one I'm going to start off with is olive oil. Right now I have this particular brand. There are so many different olive oils out there. I've tried so many different ones and I do have my favorite ones. Um, you have some olive oils that are a little bit more waterier than others. So one that I tend to really like, I think it's called like a Bortelli or something. It's more darker and it's, and it's more thicker. It's not as really watered down as, uh, as this is. It's kind of like having something in its most purest form when you're looking for your olive oils. Um, and this premium one, I actually think I got at a dollar store just to have to put in a recipe. So I prefer those that are a little thicker, a little darker, and they may even cost a little more, but it's, it's really worth it. So olive oil, I have a video on what olive oil can do for your hair as far as moisturizing, helping with the scalp, if you're having any dandruff issues. Um, I very rarely use olive oil by itself. I like to combine it with other oils. So um, olive oil is definitely one that I would recommend for you to put on your scalp to stimulate your growth. So another favorite of mine is castor oil. Um, there's many different brand of castor oils out there. I uh, also have a video on a castor oil. I really love it and I use it to assist with hair growth, um, whether, you know, people have hair loss or not, I love to incorporate using castor oil on the scalp. And so what castor oil does is it stimulates the scalp area, therefore bringing more blood flow to the scalp. And when you have more blood flow to the scalp, you have more oxygen and you have more nutrients that's going to feed the hair. So um, that's also going to help. And it's also going to help to thicken the hair up. Um, so I've been, using, I've been using castor oil since the very beginning of my journey. So castor oil is definitely a favorite of mine and it will forever be in my hair care regimen. The next oil that I um, like to use is coconut oil. I've also tried many brands of the coconut oil. They have some out there that says refined or unrefined. I particularly like to go with unrefined because that's uh, its most purest form. Um, anytime you get into your refined, then you're talking about um, it's, it's losing nutrients and things that can be beneficial to you if you would just go with the most rawest form. So um, this particular one, uh, let's see what it says. Are you refined or unrefined? It says 100% pure coconut oil. Um, so like I said, I've tried many different brands. Not only do I use coconut oil on my hair, I also use it to oil pull. And I have a video on oil pulling too, which is really detoxing the body by gargling or swishing around the coconut oil in the mouth. So I'll make sure I put that link here for you to watch that coconut oil, oil pulling video. Um, that's very, very beneficial. Now, I've noticed the coconut oil is something that I cannot use by itself on my hair. So I do combine it in my recipes, my deep conditioner recipes, along with the other oils. Um, if I'm making shea butter and things like that, I'll put that in there. It works great on a lot of people. I've seen a lot of great reviews. They use it by itself. I don't know if that has anything to do with the hair texture, a hair type hair texture but it just does not work for me by itself like it does for like my five-year-old, which we do have different hair type textures. So um, that definitely could be the case now that I think about it. But if it does not quite work for you by itself, then just to continue to get the benefits from it, you can combine it with other oils. So another one that I like to use is the jojoba oil. I actually got this one from a store called GNC. It's like a vitamin wellness store. And um, the jojoba oil, it moisturizes and softens and also hydrates the hair. I usually will take this, oh, you can use it on skin too. It's great for skin. 
I take this and I combine it with um, other things. Um, this one has like a dropper on it. So when I'm mixing my oils together, I just kind of, it's time to get me some more of this. I kind of just um, get me a little oil out of here and I put it into the combination. So this one here says 100% pure. So this is also jojoba oil. Is another great oil to use. All right, so let's talk about some more scalp stimulating oils. This is a peppermint oil. I also got this from the GNC Vitamin Wellness Store. I know there are GNC stores like everywhere. So um, you can Google if you need to find one in your area. But um, this, one, this is a 100% pure peppermint oil. This works very well in combination with rosemary. There's a lot of essential oils that will not quite work together. Like if you get a, um, say if you get a um, orange oil, you know, this, this works if we get orange, if there is an orange oil, I don't know. And you try to mix it with something else. Sometimes it just, it won't quite work together. So on these bottles, it actually tell you what it'll work in combination with. Like this one says, um, you can add peppermint and rosemary oil together. Also a couple of drops of cinnamon oil. So if you read your bottles, then it will tell you what it'll work great in combination with. These are also very strong. So I wouldn't recommend taking a few drops of this and putting it to the scalp area. Either you need to put a couple of drops in your spray bottle with some water or something like that, or you need to just put a few drops in combination with other oils like I do. I do a combo of olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, dab a couple drops of peppermint oil. So these are very, very strong. Do not pour this in your hand and try to rub it all over the hair. It needs to bring in oxygen and nutrients to the scalp, which is going to nourish the hair. So um, peppermint oil is, is very good. You'll also get a tingly sensation. Oh, and it says different, more oils here. It says you can join it with jojoba. Cool, got that. Grapeseed, olive, or almond oil. And it tells you, too, to make sure that you dilute it. You have to dilute this oil. Um, and some people could, you know, could be very irritating to use. So just be mindful of the oils that you're mixing together. And if it's causing any type of uh, break, uh, breakouts or rashes or anything like that, or your hair is coming out, just stop immediate use. You need to figure out exactly what's going on. So another one that um, I like to use is the rosemary. I also purchased this from the GNC store. And um, this one's a little bit more fuller than my peppermint. I actually use my peppermint when I'm sick too. Like I'll um, use it to diffuse, to kind of open up my um, senses and everything. So I don't use rosemary much. This one is 100% pure. And it also tells you what you can dilute it with the jojoba, grape seed, olive oil, and almond oil. Um, it says it mixes well with bergamot, bergamot, lemongrass, peppermint, and thyme. And um, it's also very strong, like I said, so make sure that you dilute that. This also stimulates the scalp area brings blood flow to the scalp, oxygen, and nutrients. So um, I like to massage that on. I do have a grape seed oil. I don't know. I must have set it down somewhere. But um, I get my grape seed oil like, from the grocery store, just like my coconut oil. And um, I use that. I use a combination of grape seed, olive, jojoba, castor, uh, a couple drops of peppermint, or a couple drops of rosemary, or you can do both. I really don't like to have it a really, really strong scent going on, so um, I will kind of pick and choose if I'm going to use my rosemary or peppermint. So um, these are just a few oils I want to share with you to help you. Um, a lot of people ask me, hey, what kind of oils would you recommend for um, hair loss or anything? I recommend things that are going to stimulate the scalp area, which is what I share with you with the um, oils that I've mentioned here. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to mix the oil of choice. 
um, and you're going to apply it to your scalp and you want to massage it in a circular motion with the palm of your hands. You can do this maybe two or three times a week. Um, I know there's one oil that I used every night when my scalp was kind of uh, it was itchy. So I used this particular oil every night to help me with that. But I noticed that my um, hair was oily. I do not want oily hair. I don't want when I'm leaning back in my chair or on my couches or anything for it to be extremely oily. I don't want for when people come and say, hey, you know, that's cute. I love your hair. You know, I don't, I don't want oily hair. I just don't. So, um... I tell people all the time to just kind of um, keep, eye. if you rub your hands in there and your scalp is still really oily, then you probably don't want to put more oil on top of what you already have. So um, it varies from person to person. But these oils I definitely recommend to you to do whether you do have any type of hair loss or not. A healthy scalp means healthy hair. So I hope I was able to help you in some way. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment area. Thanks to all of you who have subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed,